welcome to In the Community and Beyond. I am Zoe, and I did an interview with Bo Ramby, the head meteorologist at KTV Weather Station. I chose to do an interview on Bo Ramby because I was wondering what it was like being a meteorologist. When Bo Ramby was in third grade at his school in Chicago, Illinois, his favorite TV meteorologist came to his class and talked to them about what it was like being a meteorologist. And Mr. Ramby said that that was his original inspiration. When Mr. Ramby and other people applied for a job at KTV, they evaluated them on what makes them a good meteorologist. Bill told me that keeping up on data is a very important is very important in this career and to do that you have to read every day and you have to stay current on reading the forecasts and radar. When you read radar you won't actually be reading words you'll be reading motion pictures colors and patterns. One thing Mr. Ramby loves to do is to look at the weather here in the United States and also in other places all around the world. Back when Mr. Ramby was in high school and college, math was involved in a lot when getting ready to become a meteorologist. Math also taught him how good of a student he was because he was a passionate student. Have you ever wondered what the radar how have you ever wondered how the radar or forecast gets behind the performing meteorologist? Well they have special computers that can transfer any picture or motion picture to a green screen, or any other surface. One question that I asked Bill was about what they do with all the technology when there is a big storm. Bill told me that they cannot move all of the computers and other technology, so sometimes a couple of the computers will lose power or a connection. That is why it is important to have a working generator. A generator is a is used as a backup power supply so that when the power goes out, the electricity will stay on. One question that I asked Mr. Ramby was, what was the biggest storm he had ever learned about? His reply was the blizzard of 77. Since I did not know a lot about the blizzard of 1977, I decided to do some research. The blizzard of 77 is remembered by many people because it was such a large storm. The storm started off with 6 degrees below the average temperature in November and December. And in January, the temperature was 10 degrees below the average. Before, before the worst part of the storm started, there were severe gas shortages. The snow started coming down and schools and businesses closed. The November snowfall was 33.3 inches and the December snowfall was 60.7 inches. The January snowfall, which was quite a few inches, was 59.1 inches, to be exact. The National Guard was called in to help clear all of the snow. At Niagara Falls Airport, the wind gusts reached 75 miles per hour, and the wind chills reached between 50 and 60 degrees below zero. America has not had such a large storm since. After interviewing Bill Ramby, it gave me more of an urge to become a meteorologist because I got to see what I would be doing if I ever get a job as one. It also gave me an urge to become a meteorologist because this job would give me a great opportunity to have a job that would be a learning experience and every, every day and it would be fun as well. Thank you for watching in the community and beyond. I hope you enjoyed.